I'm Catherine. And I'm Chrissy. And we are traveling gleefully. And we are back in London. <laughs> Five days this time, four days? Five four nights, days. four days. Yeah. Um, and we have the most jam packed four days yeah. I think we've had since leaving home in November. We're back here because it's my birthday in a couple days, and I was like, where do I want to spend my birthday? And I was thinking, like, do I want to spend a quiet one by the beach or. A and I was one like, in London. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? No, I want to see four shows in two days. So yeah. that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. So we're currently, obviously, outside Buckingham Palace. Yeah. So we're meeting up with a friend of mine from work who I haven't seen since I quit Nine in like November, yeah. October even. Um, and then we've got like, yeah, very full days coming up. So this is potentially going to be a long vlog. Um, it's going to be a fun one. I guess you'll know how long it is because you'll have clicked on the video. Um, but we don't. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be long. Gonna it's hectic. gonna be jam-packed <laughs> and we are so excited. Hello. Hello. It is the next day now. Um, we ended up just chatting to my friend for like an hour outside Buckingham Palace and then they had to go back to Paris. Yeah. And we didn't film anything. <laughs> no, we just did a grocery shop and went back to our accommodation. So, um, but today we are going on a day trip to Hearn. I have learned it is pronounced, um, even though I call it Herny Bay, <laughs> um, which is the main place that they filmed Heartstopper. Yeah, so we're going to go find all of the filming locations and explore, get some lunch. Um, we're going with a friend, so we probably won't film too much. Um, but yeah, but if you, we'll like, if you like Heartstopper, get ready to recognise some places. Yeah. <laughs> we're excited. <laughs> We are scouting out Heartstopper filming locations and we found one. This is the street. Um, I'll put a little thing here so you can see which like a scene we're talking about. It'll be terrible quality. Um, but we found one of them. This is so exciting. We found another one. They lead just down here. <laughs> Third and final Heartstopper place today. We also went past the school, but we couldn't go in, so we couldn't really see anything. Yeah, we could just see like the oval. There wasn't much. Um, but the little pier where they go on their date, well, most of the stuff today is from their date. Yeah, yeah. It always actually, except the school. Um, but over here is the fish and chip place that they get fish and chips from, and the tables <laughs> are just behind the carousel. Um, yeah, the carousel, and there's like the walk up the pier is like, in one of the shots as well. It's yeah. Really cool. So fun. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. It's day two of our hectic four days in London. And it's the start of my birthday weekend. Yeah, so Catherine's birthday is tomorrow, but we're seeing four shows in two days Woo! for her birthday. Um, so we are on our way now. We're actually going to Spitalfield Markets first to get some lunch. Well, we're actually going to a Boost Juice because I can't get many like free birthday things in the UK without being like a citizen or a, yeah like without having to download or a UK app. bank app or a UK phone number or yeah. something yeah um but boost you can you can get you can get it on the web so you don't have to download an app or anything how old are you <laughs> get it on the web <laughs> you can get it online like you don't have to get the app so we're going to boost to get a birthday boost yeah if you're not fields. if you're not Australian you may not know what boost juice is it's literally just a smoothie chain but we both worked there for like five years yeah and we love it we love it we know all the secrets all the good juices and smoothies so we live for our free birthday boost once a year we do so we're going there and then we're going to Spitalfield Market for lunch and then we are going to see a strange loop which is show number one which we don't really know anything about except for that it won some Tony Awards and it's gotten good reviews yeah so we'll let you know what we think once we've seen it but first the markets yay all right, we've collected a friend. And a boost. And a boost. Very exciting. What have we chosen for lunch? We've got a naan wrap. Looks so good. so good. And back to humble crumble. This time I just got crumble and cold custard, which is like a lot bigger than I expected, but I'm excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Spitalfields, no, Spitalfields market was really cool. Um, it's like a lot less chaotic than the other markets, like Barrow and... Because I feel like it was in like an old, almost like depot or something. Yeah, I think, well, I think that the building's 
a market. Yeah, like, it was just really well market, laid out. It's bigger than others. Yeah, and it had lots of good food and lots of good crafts and stuff, so definitely recommend. We're now at the Barbican Centre, which is just like... Very confusing. It is find your way very around. confusing. It's like a convention centre. And I think it has like a bunch of, like there's a library and cinema. So okay, there's some schools. So, yeah. yeah. Um, to see a strange loop. And we don't know much about it, as Chrissy said. So review incoming. All right, guys, what did we think of the show? Different. I'm not sure I got it. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I don't think I had any idea what was going on most of the time. Good to see new stuff. Yeah, that's one out of four. <laughs> So we have a bit of time before our next show and when we when we need to get dinner. So we have come to Hyde Park. Although I think it's actually the top of Kensington Gardens. Yeah. Um, but we also went to um, the conservatory at the Barbican Centre, yeah. which is where the show was. I filmed a little bit of that. So like the indoor like greenhouse kind of thing. Um, it's just like the top level of one of the buildings, like the building that the theatre was in. So that was cool. It's free to go, but you need to book a time slot yeah. to do that. I don't think it's open all the time and it opens from midday as well so yeah yeah just need to book a time slot but it was nice to look through and now as I said we're in the gardens it's it's very busy lots of people hanging out it's like quite a nice afternoon touch it's, wood it's that a Saturday so touch wood it stays like this because our next show is open air <laughs> yeah so we're going to Lacage. I won't attempt to say its full name because yeah. I do not speak French um, but it's at the Regent's Park, Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. Yep. So we booked this months ago and have just been hoping that it wasn't going to rain. Yeah. Um, but it looks touch wood like it's going to yeah. be nice. I think tonight is either uh, opening like first preview or it's very soon after. Yeah. Um, but I did this, I worked on a production of this show like 10 years ago. No. More than that. I don't know. I don't know how old I am. Quite a while ago. Um, and I've always said, like, if I ever saw a, if I ever saw a professional production that was being like put on anywhere near me, I would go. So, very excited to see what it's like. We're just gonna chill out, go get some Mexican food, and then I guess we'll see you when we're at another park just before we see our next show. All right, little interlude before the next show. We've stopped for dinner. This is my new favorite chain. It's just a Mexican chain, but um, they put cheese sauce on their nachos, which none of the Mexican chains in Australia have. No. So, step it up, Australia. Okay, we didn't film before the show because we had to walk here. And, and I felt suddenly sick for no reason but I'm yeah, good now. We're all okay and um, it's like a really cool theatre it's like a proper big it's huge and it's like permanent. It's like outdoor. Yeah it's like fully outdoor, outdoor yeah. so we're glad it's not raining. Yes yeah, so we're very lucky um, the skies are clear hopefully they stay like that and yeah it's really cool there's like food and stuff you can get here I assume it's expensive so I'm glad we ate before yeah. but what do you think? It's really good. I really like the show, and it's a really cool place to see it. Yeah, it is. If you can ever come to the Regents Open Air Theatre, and there's like anything on you want to see, you should definitely come. It's it's a cool experience as well. Okay, I don't know if we did something wrong because like <laughs> I know it's hard to see us, but the entire theatre is full except these two beside us and these two on the other side. <laughs> And like, is there something wrong with us? Why not? Does anyone want to sit with us? <laughs> oh, it's starting. Alright, it's the next day now. We're going to chat about Lacage. So, I had not seen it before, but Catherine had worked on it. I didn't really know much of the plot. Yeah, you knew. I knew like the like, vague general gist. You knew it was like gay and that drag and yeah. yeah. Um, but it was so good. Like it was really fun. 
I was a little worried since it's like from I think the ninth. It was written in the nineties, yeah. maybe. I mean, there was there was one scene that's like doesn't age that well. Yeah, the, the, I was worried that it was gonna be a little like a lot like that, but it's actually not. It's like yeah. it's aged pretty well. Yeah. Um, but it was just, it was really good. Like all the actors and stuff were really good. And I'm, as we said yesterday, it was a really cool venue. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. It is Catherine's birthday. It's my birthday. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> Plus some. I wish. Um, it is the next yep. day of our musical theatre adventures. Yes. We are currently in Kensington um, and we are walking to a place to get lunch so we can go have a picnic. With some friends and then we have two more shows this afternoon hey. <laughs> really jam-packed today but i'm so excited i think we'll talk about lakash a bit later but it was it was a good night yeah i'll probably you'll probably have already seen that i'll probably yeah. just put it in earlier but we haven't had a t chance because we didn't get back till late yesterday um but it was really good and we're excited for the next two <laughs> okay bad vlogger award goes to chrissy I completely forgot to film anything from our picnic. Didn't even film my cake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. But we got Chinese food and then had a picnic with two friends in Kensington Gardens. Yeah, it was and nice. I had a red velvet cake and it was it was all delicious. It was. Yes. Um, the... I didn't film any of it. It only rained a little bit, so it could have been worse. But we were just having such a nice time that we forgot to film, so it's a good reason. Yeah. And my parents shipped over some... Australian treats for my birthday, so we'll be snacking on those the rest of the day. And now we're off to show number one yeah, so of, the day. See, of the day. Um, we're going to see the play that goes wrong. Yeah. Which we've heard good things about. Apparently it's very funny. Yeah, I feel like I've always wanted to see it. And I was like, you know what? My birthday is the perfect opportunity. And then if we hate it, we have six tonight, which we know is good. So yeah. <laughs> we're ending on a high. number three is done yeah it was good it was quite funny obviously it's meant to be funny yeah but it's very slapstick which we knew but that's like a lot of the comedy yeah I did like it I thought it was like it was funny but it also yeah, yeah as Chrissy said it was just a lot of like this person ran into this wall yeah I do think it's not like we, you could never see it a second time oh no. like once you know everything that happens yeah um, but it was good. No, it was good. I'm glad I saw it because I've always wanted to. Yeah. But we are now going to go get some dinner. Um, and then we are going to six tonight, which we've already seen. So yeah. we know we're going to love it. We are excited. Also in classic London fashion, it's raining. Yeah, as you can see, it's not the best weather anymore. I'm glad we... <laughs> we're, we're very glad we went to the open air theatre yesterday. Yeah. And we're in a enclosed theatre tonight. Honestly, if I have to... Like, if it had to be this weather on my birthday, I'm glad we organised to be in a theatre for like four hours of it because I don't know what else we would have done today. Yeah. So, we didn't film it, but for lunch we had Chinese and Catherine got dumplings, which is one of her favourite foods. And we are now getting Catherine's other favourite food. My actual favourite favourite food. Pizza. Pizza Union, of course, because it's cheap and it's good. Alright, we have finished dinner and we are heading to the theatre. But if you are ever in need of like a cheap meal in London, Pizza Union is so good. It's incredible, guys. Like, their pizzas are really good. They're only, well, the margarita's only about six pounds, yeah. which for London is like very cheap. But also I just had a look at the menu and the most expensive one for like, you know, meat and there's one with egg and whatever, extra cheese or something. It's like eight pounds maximum. Yeah. So. Even which if, if you, you know wanted, London at all, like yeah. that's very cheap. Even if you wanted a more extravagant pizza than just a margarita, it's still so cheap. Yeah. And it's very quick and it's just it's just good. Just Would good. recommend. Yeah. How was your birthday weekend? It was great. I I thought I might be like ready to stop seeing shows after four shows in two days, but I'm not. I can see another two tomorrow. <laughs> Sadly, we do not have the time or money for that. Yeah. Um, but it was very fun seeing four shows in two days. 
Um, and sex is just so good. Yeah, it's so fun. Like, if you're in New York or London, which I think the only place is playing at the moment. Um, it's touring the UK as well. Yeah. It was in Australia, but it's left. Yeah. But if it ever comes back and you've got a chance to see it, like, it's just a really fun it is. show. That was yeah. our third time, and I feel like I could just keep watching I would it. see it again. Yeah, yeah. I would easily see it again. Yeah. Um, so it's been a great couple of days. It really has. Um, but we are... Our time in London is not over yet. We're still no. here for one more day. So... We don't really know what we're doing tomorrow yet. No. But... It'll be a surprise to us and yeah. a surprise to you. <laughs> so enjoy. See you then. Bye. It is our last day in London for now. Um, and we have come out for a walk along the Thames, which is one of my favorite things we did when we were here around Christmas. Yeah. Um, so we've come back to do it again. It's less cold than Christmas. Definitely. Although it's, it is, busy, weirdly. it's chillier than you would hope yeah, for, for the end of July. <laughs> it is yeah. just so cool as well, seeing Tower Bridge and like, yeah. I'll just, Cool. It's so cool. Like it's being exciting. somewhere with something so famous, and like yesterday we were just like, what if we just went back out and saw Tower Bridge yeah. again? And then we just and then it. we just did it, Crazy. and we're just here looking at it, looking at a red bus going across it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna walk along the Thames today. Maybe pop into Borough Market. I think we probably will. <laughs> um, and just have a have a wander through London again. It's such a cool view from this side. We are now on the south side. Yes. Yes. Um, and you've got the bridge and then you can see Tower of London behind us as well. And the Sky Gardens over there? Yeah, that um, that one. Yeah, yeah, the weird looking one. This one. Um, which we went to last time, which was really cool. Yeah, definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it's so fun walking along and seeing so many cool things. It's still so surreal. It like, really is. This is like the third time we've been in London now and I'm still like, oh my god. <laughs> That's London, no, Tower Bridge. Yeah. No. Yes. This is Tower Bridge. <laughs> London Bridge is like down here and it's boring and ugly. Oh, this is the Tower of London. Yeah, right. Yeah. I get confused. Yeah. No, it's very cool. Where are we? We're at Borough Market. <laughs> what day is it? Monday. Is Borough Market open on Mondays? The only day it's shut. <laughs> Whoops. We probably should have looked that up earlier, but oh well. We'll have to just find somewhere else to get lunch. But... Whoops! In classic London fashion, it is now raining. <laughs> Look, it's London. We expected it. It. To, it had to rain every day. Yep. But it's still a really nice walk. We've been popping in and out of shops yeah. along the South Bank. And I'm not sure if Chrissy said, but we ended up going to Honest Burger for lunch, which was pretty good. Yeah. It's expensive, so we shared one. Yeah, it wasn't the Borough Market pasta we had in mind. Yeah. But Oh well, it's good to try something new. So we're just walking down South Bank at the moment, as you can see beside the beautiful Thames. The beautiful brown Thames. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love South Bank. It's like one of my favorite parts of London. Yeah, this is probably the third time we've walked yeah. along here and it's just so nice. And we'll probably do it again when we come back in November. <laughs> Well, the London Eye is behind us. Big Ben is over there. It's so nice, and it's like it stopped raining and now it's raining yeah. again. But <laughs> it's just such a nice area to walk down. Yeah. We have left the Thames because um, it gets very crowded around Westminster Bridge. Um, we can still see the London Eye though, just popping out behind that building. Um, but we are going to finish off our London vlog here. Yeah, it's been a hectic four days. Yes. It has been nice today, just like strolling around and... Not spending money. Yeah, that has been nice. Yeah. Um, but tomorrow we head to Brighton, which is going to be super fun. Yeah. We're heading to Brighton Pride, um, which is going to be great. And then obviously we're going to see the area as well. Yeah. And Chrissy's getting something exciting tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I'm doing something exciting tomorrow, so you'll have to watch the next vlog to see that. So I guess we will see you in Brighton tomorrow, but thank you for watching this vlog. Yeah, if you enjoyed this or you enjoy travel vlogs, check out our channel. We have yeah. plenty. I hope this one wasn't too hectic with us being like, we're going to a show. We saw a show. We're going to a show. We saw a show. <laughs> but you can also follow us on Instagram to see more from us. Um, but for now, thank you for watching and we will see you in Brighton. See you in Brighton. Bye. Bye.